What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. Um, today is an exciting day because finally I have received an item that I've been chasing after for the longest time and it seemed almost impossible to get but yeah the guy did come through the one from uh, Rival Motorsports. I will post uh, his info in the description because he helped me out. He actually got me this radiator from Japan so Koyo of Japan um, um, let him know that he, they had one more and this is this is it this is the radiator I've been looking for uh, in case you're wondering the part number I did open it already I wanted to check it out I was a little excited so that's the part number um, usually the the regular 36 millimeter Koya radiator is uh, it's a V080464 and no R so yeah, I'll write that in the info if you're trying to find that one because it, even those are rare to find. Uh, but it, this one even more because I there's absolutely nobody that could help me. I've messaged almost everyone that I've found online and um, it almost seemed like they couldn't source one out. Uh, it, their website said they had them in stock but um, for the most part they didn't. And every time I did try to purchase them, um, they would just get back to me with an email saying they don't have any in stock and they don't see it ever come coming to stock because uh, it's been discontinued so finally let's get the let's get this radiator out and then unbox it so you guys can see what I'm talking about all right so uh, let's get started all right so I already opened whoop. I already opened this top part for the most part let's see there's juicy Hi. Um. Okay. Take this out. Take this out. And I don't know if you guys, if I already mentioned it in my video, but I actually purchased another one from an individual on eBay, and he actually sent me one that was uh, for a 90 Accord. So those are different. So if if it's for a 90, it's not going to fit a 94, 97. Um, so I already have this opened up and then here you got just like a warning. Yeah, all of these Koyo radiators, they're all polished so they come out looking pretty nice. It looks like it still has some like polish, uh, polishing compound. Yeah, that's some polishing compound, yeah. So you could always go ahead and repolish these if you want. Just use some like, I think they call it black magic, and then you just polish it up. Um, and here's the side. Here's the iconic blue flag of Koyo. So like I said, I actually got this straight from Koyo Japan, Koyo Rad Japan. And um, it was shipped out to the UK, and then from the UK it came to me. So it finally came through. Um, I'm I'm so freaking glad because this is one of the radiators I wanted. Um, a Mishimoto will work. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, those aren't bad at all. They do come with a lifetime warranty, but for preference, I just wanted a Koya Red for myself. Um, I actually had a Koya Red, the 36 millimeter version, not this one. This is the 53 millimeter version, um, and I sold it. I don't know why I sold it because I was. I started doing my case swap and uh, I, I didn't think I needed it. I didn't test the parts, so I sold it and I regret it, but what what can you do? I'm, I'm just glad I finally got another one. And um, looks like the fins are a little bent right there, a little bit, Not, nothing too bad. It's just from shipping probably or something, you know? Um, but yeah, I also have a Koyo radiator cap, which let me see if I can find it. So they don't come with the radiator cap, so you actually do have to buy one. Um, this is the one I got. Um, it's specific to this radiator. I'm sure others would work, but this is the one I got. Um, and yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, let's look at this stuff right here. Oh yeah, no, I forgot to mention. Let's take a look at this uh, Mishimoto, Mishimoto fan shroud. So this is what I did get, a Mishimoto fan shroud for this radiator. This is also new. I just unboxed it, you know, to look at it. Um, so. Pull this one out. This one, like I said, it's been unboxed. Uh, 
So this thing should go. I already took off the bolts, so. Uh, oops, upside down. There you go, go something like that. But I'm not gonna install it yet. I'm gonna have to do some, I have to add, where's it at? Here you go. This is like double-sided cushion tape. So, you know, metal to metal doesn't rub on each other and it doesn't wear the components, um, you know, with the vibrations and movement from the car. So I'm gonna install this. Just need a... All right, so I'm gonna be installing this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a speed up so you guys don't have to watch me unbox this, all this stuff. Basically, you just wanna put it on all the surface, all the surface area that touches. Let's just put it up like this. And then we can just measure. So now we're gonna now we're ready to install this. Okay. So oops, I think I installed it the wrong way again. So it's this way. So now we're gonna install. Juicy! Stay in here, please. Alright, see all the tabs align. Make sure all the tabs align. Hope that doesn't break the welds. Kind of seemed like it was belt bending them a little bit. Um, but yeah, this thing's secure. It's radiator secure, so you guys are gonna see me. I'm gonna open the garage door for some light, but for the most part, I think we got light. Um, let's look to see how this looks inside the car. radiator is in and because I do have that traction the innovative traction bar it does push up a little bit on the radiator support bracket so it sits a slightly higher not too much nothing where it's gonna affect the hood from closing but overall looks great I mean fits perfect like I said this is the 53 millimeter one so it's a little thicker than uh, the 36 millimeter one than the 36 millimeter one um so you'd probably have more 
a little bit more uh, space if you had the, fit, the 36 millimeter, which is probably like up to this Koyo sign. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks good. Actually, you measure from right here, this is the core. But so yeah, 36, so yeah, let me see. So slightly below this line, yeah. Oh yeah, and let's install our cap. Um, this is gonna be it for today, guys. Um, let's see. Our cap. Hey, Amazon. All right, so this is our cap. Let's get this thing on here. Koyo Rad. Koyo Rad. All right. Put this on. Oops. There you go. That's how it's going to look. Nice little cap, but I still have to figure out the my reservoir, my coolant reservoir tank. Um, I was going to try to use the one. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. I was going to use that one. Uh, I could probably still make it work if there's enough space down here somewhere. I'll just figure it out. Um, and probably make a little bracket down there to have it held. And I still haven't touched the high pressure hose on the power steering, but I'll get to that later. Um, so, yeah, that's going to close out this video, guys. I uh, appreciate it for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, again, please comment down below. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.